Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian and this is Kingdom Sense. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance that is really, it's kind of hard to find nowadays. I was able to find it and I was able to find it for actually really good price because uh, everywhere that you find it is just so, so overpriced and it's just, it's not, you know. Anyway, um, I was able to find it for a good price and uh, and uh, I just got it in, so I wanted to check it out with you guys. Now, I smelled the original. Uh, the original is a classic from 19, like I think it was like 1988 or something like that. And uh, it is its eau de toilette. And what is most famous for is it's, it has like a like a gasoline type of smell to it, which comes from like the violet leaf that they use on it. And some it's like it's like very divisive. So some people just like really love it. But then some people just absolutely hate it. Me, not the biggest fan of smelling like gasoline. I don't think that it smells bad. But at the same time, I'm not going to be going crazy like some people do when it comes to that fragrance. But this fragrance is supposed to be something that's pretty, pretty, pretty different than the original so i wanted to check this out with you guys and this is going to be my first impressions on dior's fahrenheit lay parfum or parfum all right so uh let us check this out this is going to be my first impressions on this fragrance so let's open this up All right, so box. I mean, look, let me be honest with you. This is an expensive fragrance coming from a very well-known expensive house. The fact that you pay or, or a retail, you pay as much as they're charging for this and you're getting this box is absolutely incredible to me because you have Middle Eastern houses that are charging 20 30 maybe 40 dollars and you have incredible presentations incredible bottles and everything like that this look this is a cheap cardboard box with a little sticker on the front that says fahrenheit parfum by dior the bottle inside come on you know it, that that's unbelievable to me uh this is only 75 milliliters um so what can you say cheap sticker in the back cheap sticker in the front just just i don't understand but i guess that doesn't really matter at the end of the day all that matters is the fragrance right okay so here we go here is here's the bottle of the dior own parfum it doesn't say parfum on the front but this is the parfum version. Um, and it looks exactly like the original. Um, so you have Fahrenheit, Dior in the front, you have CD at the bottom, no sticker, nothing on the sides or on the back. You have CD at the top and then CD on top of the atomizer. Okay, so let us spray a few and check it out. Cap. You hear that plastic cap this is incredible all right let's check out the atomizer it's 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 pretty good it's all right not the best that your has to offer has to offer but okay Mmm, smells really good. It smells boozy. It's a manly scent. But it has a sweetness to it. You have like a rum type of smell. So it's boozy and sweet. I think that it has vanilla. That's what I'm getting right now. Just rum, vanilla. And maybe... I don't know if this is leather... It has a, a slight freshness at the top, slight freshness, but 
This is not a fresh fragrance whatsoever. It smells a lot like. Hmm. Okay, so let's get out of the way. It smells amazing. It smells really good. <laughs> it does smell really good. Uh, even though the packaging sucks and the cap sucks and the atomizer's okay and everything like that, and it's probably way overpriced, but the fragrance itself smells really good. It smells like a grown man. Like this is a grown, I don't think that I wouldn't consider this a unisex fragrance. If you are a female and you like this scent and you like to wear it, you can wear it all you want. What I'm saying is that this will appeal more towards men, especially men that are probably above 25 years old. I don't think that there are many uh, men that are under 25 younger men that are going to like this type of smell just because this is not the type of sweetness that younger guys usually go for. Usually younger guys go for, you know, YSL, Y Eau de Parfum and the, and the, um, uh, Versace arrows and those bubble gummy type the sweetness that's um this is not it this has a sweetness but it's more of a, a subtle natural more natural vanilla sweetness to it oh my god it's starting to get better it's starting to get better from the top it was um it was good a little strong but it was good but now that it's kind of settling down, mm, it smells really good. It has, it reminds me if, if just to give you an idea of the type of scent it is, think of, think of like, think of scents like, uh, Guerlain's Lome, um, Lome Ideal Eau de Parfum, but without the cherry. Uh, think of, of fragrances like like pure malt and stuff like that. Like those type of fragrances. I'm not saying that it smells like that, but it's in that in that world, in that house where it's a it's a fragrance that has a manlier scent. It has a boozy uh, and a, a boozy. Uh, this this one has booze on it. This this one definitely has. Um, some type of rum or something like that and it definitely has some type of vanilla because the vanilla is very prominent here you have a little bit of some type of herb or i don't know if it's a herb or a spice i think it's like spicy some type of spice but then you have a good nice smooth base it has a little bit of i don't know if that's woody i'm i'm not sure let me look up the notes real quick let me see what uh, Fragrantica has on here. Let me see. Let me check out the notes real quick. Okay, here we go. Nope, the Lay Parfum. All right. So, top notes. You're looking at suede, licorice. Yeah, definitely get that. And Sicilian and Mandarin. So that was that was the the slight freshness that you get at the top, the slight citrus that you get at the top, but isn't. Is not very long lived. It doesn't last very long. This is more of a of a more darker, denser, uh, more of a night out type fragrance than anything. Now it does have the the famous or infamous violet leaf on here, but it's definitely toned down. It does not don't get any gasoline vibe. I don't get any type of I don't know that petrol smell or nothing like that. I don't get any of that. I get more of like the boozy. Yeah, it has rum. It has rum, coriander, and cumin. And then on the base, it has bourbon vanilla. Bourbon vanilla. <laughs> yes, this smells incredible. This smells so good. Now, mind you, I'm not this young guy, tw uh, early 20s or nothing like that. I am in my early 30s. So I think that I, <laughs> I like this type of fragrances just because it makes me feel, um, just like grown up, you know what I mean? It has like a grown up feel to it. It is more masculine and it is, uh, I don't know. It just, it gives you some type of like, like you don't care what people think of you. 
you know and that's the problem uh, that's the problem that a lot of young guys have is that they buy fragrances for other people they buy fragrances to impress other people or to have other people tell them that they smell good now i'm not saying that this is not going to pull compliments because i'm i'm almost 100 percent sure that anybody that smells this is going to think that it smells amazing but this is a type of fragrance that you honestly don't care what people think you're wearing this because you love it and you smell good wearing it and that and that's the difference between having a wearing a fragrance and then having a fragrance wear you that's what i think it, when you have a fragrance wear you that means that you're just you're just following a crowd and you don't have the confidence to pull something like this off but i'm not saying i mean this the eau de toilette definitely is a little bit more is way more devices than this this is easy to pull off I'm not saying that this is hard to pull off it's just a more mature boozy darker uh manlier scent manlier manlier than the bubble gummy sweet ones i'm not saying it's manlier than the eau de toilette because if you want to walk around smelling like gasoline um you're pretty manly <laughs> but but yeah this one it smells incredible honestly i mean i'm giving this a nine off the bat i'm giving this a nine out of ten this is this is incredible it smells uh, it's just like this sweet booziness like kind of like how jazz club does um by mason martin margella you have the same feel you just don't have um you don't have the cinnamon and like the woodiness this one has more of a suede and it's more about the 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 spices and the and the rum and like the spice rum and the um and the vanilla that's what this reminds me of it is amazing i think that this is uh i think it's more of night out and uh fall and winter time now that's what i get but obviously you could wear it anytime you want it doesn't really matter because all matters is you know if you want to wear it wear it but it is a, a sweeter darker denser fragrance which usually uh goes more with winter or autumn type fragrances but nighttime definitely this is nighttime i i would me personally i would probably not wear this during the daytime i would wear this at nighttime probably on a date uh going out uh, somewhere you know to the movies or something like that i would wear this this smells really good really really good and it smells like it's it's really dense and strong so it smells like it's gonna last a long time plus it is a parfum so it wouldn't surprise me I, I think that it would last a long time so yeah that is my those are my first impressions of dior fahrenheit late parfum um i think that it is an incredible scent i think that christian dior knows dior knows that it is an incredible scent and that's why they decided they want to overprice it um overpriced it? yeah it's overpriced i mean look i, I see people selling it for 241 dollars Ah, I'm so happy I got it for for the price that I got it for. But um yes. This is a great scent. Great scent, hard to come by. If you see it for a good price, I would definitely recommend buying it. It smells incredible. Um and I don't think that you're going to regret it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Uh please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. Consider subscribing to the channel. We're uh, slowly growing. We're at about a 200, what is it, 260 subscribers. Thank you so, to so many of you. Not so many, but the 260 of you that subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. God bless you all. Take care. Leave a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite Dior. Is it Dior Sauvage? Is it Dior Homme? What is your favorite Dior? Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.